um, The Last Airbender, horrible movie. It's not good. Um, uh, <laughs> it's are, not good. <laughs> um, you know, you can look at it. There are definitely some things you can pick out. Like, for example, the costumes and the sets are actually really good. Like, the, um, the Northern um, Water Tribe, in terms of looks, it looks good. Like, it looks like how it, it looks like if they translated it to live action. The giant ice like wall bridge thing that they have to bring down. Even the way the um I I specifically love the way the five benders dress, because the five benders are based off of um like feudal Japan, and because of that, the five benders in um the um the last Airbender movie wear kind of like Japanese wear Japanese armor, and it's cool. It's like Japanese armor mixed with the um five bender armor from the um cartoon. So they have the helmets with the giant spikes. And they have shoulder pads that kind of curve up, but not in like an extreme, super spiky curve like it is in the um, anime. And it actually looks really good. And even the way the uh, the water tribe people dress is, you know, I mean, it's very accurate to with um, any Inuits, um, you know, war. Um, and it's just in in that terms, it's great. But where it messes up is it tries to. It's it's difficult because they had to, adapt, or I mean, had is a bit of a stretch, but they tried to adapt an entire season of a show, which was like 20 something episodes. Um, and also I feel like another place where they failed heavily was one, the acting was horrible. I feel like most well, of the it, acting was God awful. That was yeah. maybe like the worst acting I've seen in a movie. Actually, let me not go too deep into it because I know you've heard of all the Avatar news that's been happening lately. So we actually have this whole section dedicated to Avatar. We can come back to okay. it. 